My name is Matthew Jakob, and in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate to you Versa Director system. Versa Director is the SD-WAN management system of the Versa networks. On the top, you can see five menus analytics where we store all the logs and historical data of the SD-WAN usage, administration tasks such as the list of all the appliances, licensing, inventory, system wide settings, and uh, notification settings. Also, we have the workflows menu where we store all the configuration wizards, which allows you to create templates, devices, various advanced configurations, and so on. Then we have configuration menu, which stores all the templates, device, wide uh, parameters, and so on. And we have the monitoring, which allows us to see in the real time what is happening with our system. For example, in here you can see the asset inventory, how many tenants we have in total, how many controllers is deployed, how many directors, UCP, analytics, and so on. Also in here you can see the list of all the recent events that are currently happening on the system. Right now nothing is happening, so we see zero zero. In the provider health section you can see the list of all the interfaces. If any of the interfaces or major problems come up, you will see them in the down statement and will be able to easily identify what is happening. The overall application activity shows you the most popular application at this moment of time. And of course, you can see the list of all services deployed in all of your first SD-WAN infrastructure. You can see how many SD-WAN devices, how many stateful firewalls are deployed, how many uh, load balancers configured, IPsec tunnels, and so on and so forth. If you want to see in more details information about any of the devices, you can click on the devices and let's say we want to see what is happening with the device branch 11. Device branch 11 has only one tenant person. If we had multiple tenants, we would be able to see information about any of them separately. So in the right side about the Versa application, we can see, first of all, what is the management IP address or which the system is managing it, what is the location, and some of the troubleshooting tools, such as ping, trace route, TCP dump, which we can run on any of the interfaces. Let's say we want to sneak the traffic on one of the LAN interfaces and we want to filter it only on the port 443 and run it for five seconds. We can launch it. The system will connect to the appliance, uh, finalize the TCP dump, and allow us to download the PCAP file with what was captured on that particular interface. After that, we can see the state of the branch 11, what is the current load and utilization. We can see the state of every single process running on the system. We can see the licensing mode um, on this screen. If you want to do something more advanced, such as, for example, see the state of the services, such as SD-WAN service, what are the uh, branches participating in the SD-WAN currently, or maybe you want to see the underlay metrics and underlay statistics of reachability between branch 11 and let's say branch 21. And you can see the two-way delay, uh, loss or delay variation, or you can check the state of the path overall, if it's up or down currently. In addition to this, you can see information related to the next generation firewall configuration, such as zone protection, DDoS policies, decryption, and so on. You can see the list of the current sessions running through the system. For example, right now we see there are nine sessions running through this box. Uh, from them it is YouTube, DNS, Mozilla, and so on. You can also see information such as the interfaces, where is their parameters, what are the IP addresses configured, through what they configure it. You can see information about the BGP adjacencies, routes, and routing tables. You can even check the ARP table of the system in each of the VRFs. Or we can see in general the statistics of this branch. Let's say that this branch has three interfaces, and we want to see the live load on any of them. Let's say we want to see what is happening on the internet interface. We can just click on it and the system will pull in the real time the statistics of the load of that particular interface. And you can see it started growing slowly. Here is the load and the receive transmit circuit and so on. Also, if you want, you can measure the speed between this branch and any other. So we have embedded uh, speed test server implemented in the system. You can just select that we want to check connectivity to the branch 21 over the internet circuit, 
and request system to begin the measurement. Okay, you can see that we measured the speed of the system and now you know the exact data. Of course, if you want to see the statistics of the applications world in this branch in particular, I mean branch 11, you can always see this at the bottom of the screen. I hope this video was informative for you and thank you for watching.